Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Alright, today we're going to get back on the Mustang GT. Uh, the carb is still all being rebuilt, but hopefully before the end of the episode we get it back. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to do some cleaning on the car, and also we're going to have a uh, little feature called Take Your Daughter to Work Day, so I hope you enjoy it. take your daughter to work day we're gonna put a new battery in her charger so the first half an hour is gonna be spent getting all the stuff out of the way good one <laughs> all right the first thing I'm gonna have her do is pull the the panel out of the back of the car a little strap there let's lift it up that down and now here's where the battery is on these chargers so looks like we're gonna get a wrench and uh, pull that off all right something I did up here I threw a jumper pack on uh, so we don't lose the memory and stuff that'll uh, save a little reprogramming time all right so go ahead and take that red cap off batteries are exactly the same make sure the plus and minuses are on the same side check the the mounts on the bottom to make sure they look the same so these look good uh, we're gonna double check that this has got a vent spot in it and it does so we're good to go we got the same battery so let's uh, let's he-man this in all right I'll do it <laughs> I know, I got it, I got it. Which way did it go? This way? Oh, good lord. No, yeah, that way. Yep. Let me get that out of the way. Can you get that one out of the way? Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. So you got that pushed down out of the way. So push it all the way forward. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right. <laughs> now you're going to take this piece. Um, put that back in there. And put it back down there. Our light just went out. Hold on one second. Go ahead and put that back in it. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Put all the Velcro back down. <laughs> all right, you're gonna put your, your yep. net back up. Make sure it's not twisted. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, let's go uh, disconnect this. Let's take the red off. Alright, don't touch it to any metal. 
All right, lift that down. Go ahead and shut the hood and then uh, we'll see if it fires. See if it starts. Got it, huh? Woo! All right, good job. Uh, everything working in there? Oh, Is yeah. time right and everything? Yes, yes. It all right. Is. So that kept all your. Otherwise, what you have to do is just reset all your clocks and things like that that stopped working when you had the battery off. So good job. <laughs> all right. I hope you enjoyed that little detour. I just think it's important for the kids to know a little bit about how their cars work so they don't get taken advantage of as much uh, throughout life when it comes to car repairs. So anyway, so let's get back onto the Mustang GT350 and I'm going to work on getting it cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's never fun rolling around in all the dirt and crud so I'm going to take a few minutes to uh, get it cleaned up. Out of me, there's a little lizard dude there. I got the light so you can see him a little better. I had to get the inside of the car all cleaned up, it, uh, it turned out pretty good, I think. Um, I mean, it could always use a little more, but uh, it, it's better than it was. And uh, the nice thing is this interior is not totally trashed. Walk around the other side too. Oh, there's our little lizard dude again. Everything 
apparently the huge master cylinder. Looks like a brand new high beam light. vacuum hoses in here and a few other things. I'm not really sure what they are. These are the heat risers for the air cleaner. I'll have to uh, go through that individually. Ah, these look like Sony must have replaced struts on it. These are the old struts. I really prefer when people uh, sell me cars that they go through and put a whole bunch of new stuff on it before they sell it to me. That's awesome. Spark plugs. Let's see what we got. Hopefully these are used because they put new ones in. Ah, these look new. <laughs> well, at least they got them for me. They put a bunch of front end parts in the car too that are brand new as well. Spare tires in here. I'll check air pressure in that, but they uh, were nice enough to leave the tie down parts for it. That looks like the original trunk emblem. Looks pretty rough. So that's about it. Still no key to the to the tires to the wheels uh, to get the locking lugs off. So we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way and pound a socket on it. And that'll do it for the trunk. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it out. this stuff up a little bit uh, not gonna put it together all nasty so uh, there's an aluminum shield that goes over here that I just threw in the parts washer so it could soak for a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up front on it so you know which way it uh, sits on the car. 
So I guess that looks pretty good. All right, we're rolling into Dynamic Industries to pick up the carb. All right, I got the carb on. Everything's uh, in good shape here. Uh, we'll see if it starts. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shoot. We're out of time today. Sorry about that, guys. You're going to have to come back next time and see if the old Mustang fires up. Thanks for watching.